The following video is a demonstration of milk auger assay. The purpose of this test is to determine whether or not the bacterium in question is able to hydrolyze proteins. Bacteria produce and excrete protease to break down extracellular proteins into amino acids so that they can be used as nutrients. Milk auger is a differential medium used to test for protease activity. Milk auger contains the protein casein. This protein lends the plate its opaqueness and allows for easy detection of protolytic activity. A positive result is indicated by the medium turning translucent around the bacterial growth. In a negative result, there is no change in the medium's translucence. Here's an example of two milk auger plates. Note the opaqueness. Pass the inoculating loop through the tip of the flame to sterilize. Allow the metal to turn orange as it is passed through the flame. Continue to work near the flame in order to remain in the aseptic zone, thereby minimizing the risk of contamination. Touch the loop to the medium to cool it before collecting the sample bacterium from your nutrient auger plate. Spread the sample onto the milk auger plate by streaking back and forth across the diameter of the plate. The total width of your streaking should be about 1 centimeter. This streaking pattern is referred to as the worm. Sterilize the loop when finished and turn off the Bunsen burner. Incubate the milk auger plate at 25 degrees Celsius for 17 hours. Be sure to label the plates appropriately. In a positive result, there is a clear halo surrounding the bacterial growth. This is an example of a negative result. The plate remains opaque around the area of growth. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of a positive and negative result. 